Well, I, th I, th I think that the country as a whole is quite, quite well prepared for the future. That doesn't mean I adopt, would adopt every policy they have. But, but uh, I think, A, we have an enormously rich society, enormously rich society, and it'll get richer. Uh, everyone isn't going to participate in that. Some won't, won't participate because of physical disabilities, others because of mental disabilities, others because of shortcomings in the education they received when they were growing up, all kinds of reasons. We have a prosperous enough society to be able to take care of, of, of those people, and we should take care of them. And how we do it so that they feel most useful in life, and how we do it so that we continue to encourage people to be more productive themselves and all that. I mean, those are not easy questions, but but that shouldn't take our eye off the ball of feeling we should do something about it. it uh, um, I often, I, I, I pose this problem sometimes to people. I say, let's assume that it's 24 hours before you're born. And all of you can take this test, 24 hours before you're born. And a genie comes to you. And the genie says, what was your name again out there? Uh, whatever, we'll call you Joe. Uh, and the genie says, Joe, says, you look pretty promising to me. I think you've got kind of a sense of fair play and, and a good mind. And so I'm going to let you have an extraordinary opportunity. I'm going to let you design the world into which you're going to be born in 24 hours. It's yours. You pick out the political rules. You pick out the economic rules. You pick out the social rules. You design the world. And when you're born in 24 hours, you're going to be born into that world. And that's the world that's going to exist for your lifetime, for your children's lifetime, for your grandchildren's lifetime. And you, having heard of some of these genie jokes in the past, would say, what's the catch? The genie says, well, it's a very slight catch. He said, when, when you're born in 24 hours, you're going to emerge in this world you designed. But what you don't know is whether you're going to be born black or white, male or female, rich or poor, bright or retarded, able-bodied or infirm, in the United States or Afghanistan. All you know is that you're going to reach into this barrel, which now has six billion balls, as we know, representing one person, every person in the world, and you're going to participate in what I call the ovarian lottery. You're going to take one ball out of that barrel, and you're never going to get another ball. That's you. You're going to get one ball, and now you're going to emerge. Now, what kind of rules you want to have for that society not knowing which ball you're going to get. Now that I put to you is the way I think people should think about social policy. And if you're born, if you're lucky enough to be born in this country, you've won the lottery already. But we should have a system, in my view, that encourages the Jack Welches and the Bill Gateses and all of that to work far beyond the time when it has any economic significance to them. We want people commanding those resources who are extremely able at commanding them. That's how that's how the how the standard of living moves forward. So we should want, you know, we should want Tom Osborne coaching in Nebraska. We should want we should want Bill Gates designing software. And we don't want to mix up those two. <laughs> we don't want to we don't want we don't want to get Bill coaching in Nebraska. Uh, so you want you want people you want a system that directs gets people to their potential and and puts them in the position where they can do the most good for society. But you also want a system for the people who get the wrong ball. I mean, somebody's going to get the ball, you know, that says ADIQ. Somebody's going to get the ball that says this disease or that disease early in life that cripples them. And we've got a rich enough society that we can, we can take care of those people. And I think that, to get back to your question, I think that this society will move more and more in that direction. It has the capability of moving more and more in that direction as our resources uh, and our output increases, and I think that it has the will to do that in a general way, although, like I say, there have always been lots of fits and starts. So there is no shortage in the United States of resources. There's no shortage of output. You have to have a system that encourages people to behave to the limit of their abilities and puts them in the right place. But then you have to make sure that everybody gets taken care of, too.